We, representing the countries of the world in the Miss Universe beauty pageant, in order to further the cause of peace, justice, and mutual understanding, do solemnly dedicate ourselves to the highest ideals of sportsmanship, friendship, and goodwill among all the people of the universe. Thank you, Martha Vasconcelo, Miss Universe of 1968. And now, DDN sets, do we have the judge's final decision? Thank you, Miss USA 68. Here's the decision we've all been waiting for. Everything is built to this moment. I have the four runners up and Miss Universe. The fourth runner up for the title of Miss Universe is the delegate from Japan. The third runner-up is the delegate from Israel. The second runner-up is the delegate from Australia. Now, would you please step right down here, and you step right down here beside me. One of you girls will be Miss Universe of 1969. The other will be the first runner-up. Now, the position of first runner-up is very important because if Miss Universe cannot serve her obligation, the first runner-up takes over the title. The first runner-up is Miss Finland. Miss Philippines is Miss Universe of 1969. Congratulations, Miss Philippines. Martha, would you step in? There we are. Dee Dee, please. Put your arm right back here. Hold it up. Here's the sash that you'll be wearing for the next year. Miss Universe 1969 and Miss Philippines. Now Miss Universe, would you please step out on the ramp in your traditional walk? Miss Philippines is Gloria Diaz. She's from Parnake. She's 18 years old. She has black hair and black eyes. Five feet five inches tall and weighs 115 pounds. She's a student of St. Scholastica College and she's taking a business course. Her hobbies are piano, dramatics, and modeling. She's acted in school plays. She has two brothers and nine sisters and they should all be very proud of her. <laughs> 